gable trench problem is a combination of two important problems from graph and network theory. Both of those problems by themselves are easy to solve. However, a more realistic problem is to combine them. When I came to Kutztown University in 1986, I continued to be a consultant with uh, Ken Stott at Bethlehem Steel. Ken and I had talked about trying to combine the shortest path and the minimum spanning tree problem into one more meaningful problem for a number of years. In 1999, I had two students that got interested in the cable trench problem, so much so that even after they graduated that year, they wanted to work on it. Five of us worked very hard that summer and developed a number of key results and wrote it up for a paper. We were looking at a comprehensive solution approach that would give us solutions for all different ratios of trench cost to cable cost. The solution to the problem is going to be a set of spanning trees. We need to start with one spanning tree that's easy to get. Then from there, we find the next best one as the cost starts to increase. And it's an iterative procedure until you get to the minimum spanning tree, which you know you're at the other extreme. The goal of the Department of Mathematics at Kutztown University is to guide our accepted students through a well-balanced curriculum, enabling them to reason logically, practically, and abstractly. Kutztown University is located in Kutztown, Pennsylvania, currently in its 149th year. We're a comprehensive state university, which means much of our mission is to serve uh, first-generation college students to make them ready to take on a career to enter society as productive and enlightened citizens. There's three broad areas of focus. Certainly the apply group with their focus on the cable trench problems and the meta heuristics. A second group focus on discrete math, number theory, graph theory, and combinatorics. The third group use a modified, more self-discovery approach to allow their students to look for something new and exciting for them. The cable trench problem really provides a framework for incorporating both the shortest path aspects of the problem and the minimum spanning tree problem into one bigger, more realistic math model. And this really provides for the opportunity to attack applications in the real world. We're uh, analyzing CAT scan images of a vascular network, a blood vessel network. And what this image gives us is a huge set of discrete points in 3D that show the locations of the various blood vessels. Uh, we also get the radius of, of each blood vessel at, at those points. And what we need to do is digitally reconnect all the points together to see what the vascular network actually looks like. And it turns out the cable trench problem models this perfectly when we look at key physiological principles. The original paper came up with good solutions to the cable trench problem for, a whole, for the whole spectrum of cable to trench costs. But in, in this application, we had a specific cable cost and a specific trench cost. And so what our, our colleague did was combine Prim's algorithm, Dijkstra's algorithm in, into a combined heuristic uh, to get a very good solution very, very quickly. Metaheuristics are very important because they're general strategies that can be adapted to uh, solve a large variety of really important problems in both business and industry. For complex optimization problems, metaheuristic are able to find a good quality solution within the relative short time compared with traditional optimization problems. Metaheuristic find many applications uh, including finance, planning, scheduling, and uh, engineer design. We adapt a new heuristic which was originally introduced to solve continuous nonlinear problems. A group of initial feasible solutions are generated and improved through the random interaction among themselves during each generation until there is no improvement for the solutions all the total number of generations is reached. Our meta heuristic guarantees to find a near optimal solution within a relatively short time. At Kutztown University, undergraduates and graduate students have the opportunity to do research with the faculty. Often, that results in publications or presentations at national and international conferences. When I started working on my master's thesis, I've been working with the, the math department 
for about a year solving complex combinatorial optimization problems. At the time, Dr. Vasco had been approached by French researcher Julian Girard uh, about methods of solving medium scale instances of the cable trench problem. I decided that that would be an interesting and complex problem to try to solve. I'd say the biggest way that the staff supported me at Kutztown was by connecting me with a team that spanned across the world, giving me the soft skills that I needed to work over Skype and email, uh, which is something that I do every day now working at a worldwide company. My work with the math department here really set me up for my role at Quincic. The combination of the traditional software engineering role and also being in charge of solving the optimization aspect of these, these complex puzzles. Here at Kutztown University, we have a proven track record with the students that graduate. Many go on to complete an advanced degree in mathematics. Others become successful analysts in business, in industry, in government. We also hope they gain a love and passion for the mathematics that they do and they share that love and passion with others.